Come your live to Celestia Reality Check. We are here live at uh, CCC Apataye uh, to investigate the matter that has been going on on the social media concerning the bees, uh, lovist and the uh, uh, and the cholera outbreak to bring the issues to clarification to everybody watching on CLC. Thanks for watching. So let's go as we move. Hallelujah to Celestia Church of Christ Worldwide. Welcome you live to Celestia Reality Check. Uh, we are here live at CCC, Apatai Badon South Area Headquarter to investigate the matter that has been going on on the social media and bring uh, clarification on the uh, uh, equese issue that everybody has been saying a lot of things and to the glory of god we we get to know that it's not a matter of the love feast but the there is a cholera outbreak in the area of apata ibadan or your state nigeria so right now uh i am with our father in the lord a man with honor and integrity in celestial church a legend in celestial church our venerable superior evangelist kilanko that is nice meeting you sir Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. I want you to uh, to tell people your name so that they will confirm that <laughs> this is Baba that we are talking about. <laughs> I'm Venerable Supreme Evangelist Akinwale Kelanko. All right, sir. The shepherd. The shepherd in charge and the area about the south area head. Okay, sir. Um, there was the news trending on the social media. Why some people are sending an audio here and there that uh, the, the, you have a lovist in the church that results to the death of some people, sir. So we want a clear um, clarification on that, sir. Um, we give God the glory. There's nothing like that in the church. On Sunday, which is the uh, 22nd of uh, September, we have normal service, uh, which you have uh, the love feast, as we used to call it, Ikwesi. Mm. Uh -huh. That everyone, every member, we join with love. With love. It happens on Sunday. I was in the church in the morning, but during the afternoon, I left because I traveled to Imeko. Mm. That's on Sunday. Mm. So coming back on Monday, before we get to Abeokuta, my my daughter in the bus said, well, I wanted to ease myself, which we parked the car. Coming back again, like about two, three minutes, mm. she's vomiting. Wow. And uh, the little boy with her. So that is how the thing started. So I'm coming from Ogun State in Meko. Mm. Before getting to Abekuta, we noticed this thing. Mm. So from there, yes. yeah, yes. From there, come back to the church mm. and then send them to the hospital for mm. treatment. So that was on Monday. Okay. And now, before Tuesday, when on Tuesday now, we had the news mm. that there's a... Audio. There's, no, we have the news that people our people are in the hospital. That's the, yes. the, the church uh, members or from the community, sir? The church members, they are in the hospital. But there's a 
cholera outbreak mm. within the area. Yes. Okay, sir. Um, to I will start from where you stopped now. That um, the cholera outbreak, sir. Uh, how does it happen, sir? Like, can we say is it from the community area or or your state or just this environment, sir? Because the uh, the news has been spread before now. The government have been making announcement even over the radio that there has some problem of. Uh, cholera mm. around apartheid area mm. all right good sir and um do we have any any record for symptoms especially people in the church premises like maybe the church premises or the member that can we do we, how, many, how many people are affected sir well the cholera affect some of our members but they are not living in the church premises they were outside that is a different they were outside so the news about uh, a war beings or something like that is not arise at all okay all right good sir i'm um, going forward sir um partaking to the issue of this uh, cholera heartbreak sir ever when it has happened sir uh, do we have any death record sir where well, there is. Okay, sir. Yes, because we did not uh, get the uh, right place before. We carried the member that affected to hospital, private hospital here, and some in their house, you know. By the time the doctor at the private hospital did not attend to them uh, the way it should, it made these people to person mm, that's the first person yes okay so that's it and um we have uh, how many how many can we record sir within our church uh, yeah, something yeah, church. we have a uh, five 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 okay sir now yes, we have a uh, okay. two female adult okay. the one male and then the children Wow. Is there any record for um is there any record partake to their health? Maybe they how aside from the cholera that uh, did they have are they facing any medical challenges before that, sir? No, I cannot say because we did not uh, go for maybe the check up or autopsy. autopsy. Yes. Uh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. And um has any uh, okay, so let me say it this way. From the your state government, sir, did they have any have they made any visits to this church? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I even give uh, God the glory and I thank the governor of the state for giving us the grace to carry our people to Olodo IDC. From there the people received treatment and they were okay. The place is okay. But uh, it's a pity that we suffered a lot at the private hospital where some members uh, lost, their life. lost their life. Oh, so sorry about that. Um, in another way, sir, from the pastor's authority, sir, uh, we had the news that the pastor sent some delegates yeah. to investigate the matter, sir. What is the outcome? Well, they were there to uh, through the pastor led by uh, assistant Mazarebo um, Bopola from Abekuta and uh, Venerable Augustine and some uh, senior clergy. That's all. This is fantastic, sir. So, what's the, and, uh, since then, sir, what has the church fixing together, especially in the area of hygiene? Ah, well, uh, you can see when you go when you go around now, you see, even uh, the team from uh, WHO, okay. they were here inspecting everywhere. They said, well, our area is up to the task because the place is neat. 
we have a borehole here, we have a well, uh, which is far, far away from uh, maybe where we, the, the circuit way or something. Mm. We have a very good uh, environment. environment, yes. Mm. Wow, if that is a very wonderful... And the thing is not happening in the church, as the news carried, it's not in the church. That's why I used to tell the people, it's not in the church. They didn't happen to them in their individual areas. And and apart from uh, our own, uh, the health authority, they revealed that it's happened. We have uh, like Bekuba and some other area there where people too have this problem. And some die over there and they are not members of our church. But the thing there is that, but it immediately the thing happened, we send the boss out. Anybody you know that is having these, uh, these symptoms, mm. carry them to the hospital. Wow. So, which we did for at least the first two days. Oh, wow. Beautiful, sir. Beautiful. Uh, Thank God. Okay, sir. Some of the people in the hospital, sir, so how are they heading to the treatments? And uh, can we have, uh, or can we say, do we have any record that some have been recovered, sir? Uh, nearly all of them. I think we have about three or three or four remain yeah. in the hospital now. Wow. That's so as of now, yes. All right. Thank you very much. And we want to move around and show up on other things. We want to check the water. We want to see the... Okay, and um, the area of washing of hands, uh, is there any provision for that, sir? Yeah, Where do we wash your hand, the hygiene, the, the hand sanitizer? Yes. There is. We have about, I think, about three places within our premises here. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. So let's move around. So for everyone of us watching us on Celestial Reality Check, we want to move around the church. So we want to show you how the church has been a very neat and uh, healthy. And uh, they've meet up to the tax to overcome the, uh, the, the outbreak. So let's go on. Let's move. Of Christ, um, as you can see, uh, part of the hygiene is a uh, washing of hands, and uh, you can see our father doing that right now to wash his hand, and uh, after that, they will apply the sanitizer to sanitize their hands. So, the one of the rules of the church now is anybody coming in to this premises now, this is the first step that is going to do. So, you can see our father doing that right now. So, now. Everybody is doing that here. Everybody is doing that here right now, sir. So uh, we want to move around again to the well that supplies water to the tank. So um, we want to see where the soccer way is. But oh, uh, you can see the environment. You can see the environment. Everywhere is very well clean. And yes, sir. So this is the water. Very clean. Very clean. So right now, this is the soccer way. Um, I think. This is about, we have, let me say, like three, four miles because after this soccer way now, we have the Sunday school building and we have the main church auditorium, then um, down to the well. So you can see how long the soccer way is to the right. I'm one of the victims, yes. I think uh, she also undergo the cholera outbreak, yes. So can we meet you, your name? My name is Prophetess Deborah Falodun. All right, how does it start? Mm, it started on Sunday, though I wasn't around like we traveled. Okay. We went for something. And on our way coming back on Monday, I started vomiting inside the bus and my child too, my last baby, he started vomiting too. Then we went to the hospital and we, was, we were hospitalized then. So after that, they did uh, some sample on us. They carried on some sample on us, um, stooling and the vomit. They collected and took it to the lab. Uh, to the lab. So it was now diagnosed that it, is, it was um, a cholera. Mm. Oh, yes. Wow. So how are you feeling now yeah, after I'm all the fine. treatments? I'm very well. I'm fine now. Very, very well. Yes, all very right, well. You. And what advice do you have for people that live in these environments that are all people that are falling to victims that they are in hospital right now that they're watching you? Yeah, they should just keep their environment clean and observe the washing of hands every time. Hourly, minutes, just try and have your sanitizer and be yourself. You will be fine. You will be well. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, I'm with 
one of our brother again, our brother in the Lord, our brother of Christ. Yes, is um, very nice. He's a, he's a friend to the house anyway. So it's nice meeting you, sir, again. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. I'm um, Supreme Banjari Sholaki Madi. All right, sir. And uh, what can we? What can you say to this uh, cholera outbreak that is happening, sir? No, it is a general thing. I think government has been giving this kind of. Uh, information and education around in the last four months that there is cholera outbreak now people should maintain a clean environment and a very good hygiene but it was unfortunate that it happens in our church and that shows we are not too careful and that will give us it, it teaches us to be more careful and be sh more concerned about our hygiene that it is a di two different things there is different between health and spiritual so instead of model the thing, two things up, at least next time we'll be able to do the needful at appropriate time. All right, thank you very much, sir. So I want to prove to you, say no, be say not be say no be say be say chop guy you. Thanks for watching, and you've listened to the voice of the Shepherds, Venerable Superior Evangelist, uh, Kilanko, and uh, you've listened to two other people that have spoken on this. So it is not the part, uh, it's not the, it's not the fact that they eat uh, lovest bees so that makes them uh, that, that kill people, twenty people, these all these um, lies that has been going online. No, no, it's not about the lovest this time around, but it's a matter of the the cholera outbreak that happened in Oyo State, and according to the Oyo State government. Government or you have recorded about 130 dead uh, concerning this outbreak, and at the same time, a lot of people has been up to, uh, they have been in the hospital about about in the uh, four different local governments of uh, your state right now as we speak. And the Commissioner of Health of uh, your state has also addressed this matter for everybody to keep uh, their environment healthy, and uh, they should keep uh, they wash their hands and observe everything that will make them out of this thing. So please, or your state government is on it, and I want to prove to you that CCC Apartheid is not uh, Apartheid is out of this matter. God bless you, Adewale Samuel, Celestial Reality, Jack, or your state, Bado.